Nice to see that weather's all cleared up yet still. So it's been a good solid 24 hours. Let's uh, talk to Yorana and get the thing. Get things all settled here. And we have noticed that the quest went to Coral Recommendation Part 2. And I can barely see. Good Yikes. to see you. Hello, my little friend. I've committed most of the book to memory, but I took the time to write down a path. It contains instructions for acquiring a very special power. I consider uh -huh. this to be more than a worthy reward. Be seeing you. Uh, the thing is, is that uh, we need that book back. I mean, you've done your part for the research. I would kind of like to have it back. Yep. As far as I know, Hail. no one saw it. Evening. Bye. And we did it all that without having to uh, talk to Tikius about it. And we'll see what the reward is in just a moment. We just need to turn this in. Oh no, wait, that's the Fighter's Guild. Whoopsies. <laughs> you know, I don't know when we're going to deal with the Fighter's Guild, but let's uh, go over to the other one. Now, let's see, where is he? There you are. What do you want? Is the book safe? Do you have it? G what? What? This is unacceptable. At no time did I ever suggest yes. you will retrieve the book. Go ahead. Yes, I have it. Have you re Finally, I shall see to it that the book is kept safe until the council decides what should be done with it. I didn't know why I didn't skip to this option. I shall also option. overlook your uh, transgression and send a recommendation to the Arcane University. So yep, now we got the recommendation with the bad thing of having Tikius giving us the stink eye for what we did. <laughs> How dare he. Especially with the new look for that Argonian. Ooh, intimidating. Okay. Now, hopefully, uh, this is not going to harm us. Actually, yeah, it will. Because uh, we kind of need a little something extra to help us. We just need to find... Uh, we need to go to an alien ruin, I think. Question is, I don't, I don't know where. Fuck. Jeez, considering the, the severities of all the crash of desktop, I need to make a counter for this as a long-going joke. It's like, why not? Alright, so here we are. Oh, it even puts us right next to it. Okay. Alright, so here's the deal here. What we need to do is that we need to send a shock spell to this thing. But the thing is that it's probably going to kill us. If we do not have a certain other thing next to us, I think. So, because according to the notes... Is that the carvings? Da 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 da. Following these carved margins. Da 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 da. Do not the sound. All right. Okay. I take whatever I have to be necessary. Mm-hmm. Uh, I say, welcome stones necessary to harness stones power. Success means powers the shock on a table through any other means. So yeah, we're gonna get ourselves a shock spell from this. Uh huh. Just to procure a welcome stone for self. Searching any rooms is most likely to find the quickest way to return to the, uh, to the pillar. What happens then? I think you can comprehend on your own. Yeah, because if we were to do this without one, I think... Um, this happens. Nothing happens. Okay. I guess, I guess we, I guess we do need a stone to do this. It's just that the aftermath of what happens is that you're gonna sustain a lot of damage. So... Question is, where can we find one on such short notice? I do know of one place, because every time that we exit the sewer, there is one right across the river right here. But that one's dangerous, I think. 
At least when I did some uh, experimentation off screen, making sure mods work and fucking fuck. Okay, fast traveling back over to the Y Inn, or whatever this place is. Oh, Wanet Inn. I don't know why I say Waynet or whatever. I do know that there is an alien ruin over here to the south. So I figured I'll go this way. Yeesh. Bunch of wolves around here? Doesn't sound good at all. I figure we go ahead and traverse out here at night. I don't know how that's going to impede us with having to see everything. Like enemies. But it's kind of moonlit, don't you know? Yeah, nice and starry. And all the nebulas and... Things popping in. Alright, so I think we can do a little bit of dungeon diving here. Just a little bit. Okay. Shh. You know, probably for my first assignment for leveling up my skills off camera, I probably have to work on sneaking. And it's for probably for my next set of quests that I want to do that involves that. Alright, so we can see a little bit in here, I see. But, priority? Get some goddamn torches. Oh. The lighting seemed a little bit weird there for a split second. Kind of felt like I might have, like, triggered a trap or something. I should probably worry, be wary about traps in general, actually. So we're going to do a little bit of sneaking around here. Yeah, you see the line just went to a tint green there. It's kind of unsettling. Also, I don't know who's spying on me. If I'm being seen a lot. Hyper-awareness or something, I don't know. Oh. I see a bunch of rats. Okay. I'm surprised I was not caught. <laughs> Rusty iron. And a short sword. Here I go, killing innocent rats. Why not? Oh, well, there's my prize. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Yikes. Oh my god, that hurt. <laughs> wow. Freaking decimated. Alright, I'm guessing that the mobs down here just changed up a little bit. Now I'm just seeing a bunch of skeletons. As long as I don't see the mage one, I'm fine. It's not that I don't think that the mage one was that difficult. It's more about... Like, uh, what the fuck is that? What is that glowing thing around him? Okay, I think I know what that is. I want to stay a little bit stealthy here. Do want to train the sneak up anyway, right? Shh. Okay. 
Go over here. I'm surprised they haven't noticed yet. And considering the mods that I have, that, that should probably put into question. Why did I do that? Oh god, that is the mage. Uh, I'll bring out my own skeleton. Well, I managed to land some- wait, oh no, he just fell. Alright. Oof. Alright, you did yourself a good job. Alright, let's do another. Yikes, that hurt. There, good stuff. At least now I can go ahead and get your uh, staff. That'll definitely be worth some monies. So you do frost, nice. All right, resuming duty. Can't have rats running around having to ruin my things. There. All right, I did get myself a bow and arrow, so only best way to get it down is we gotta shoot it down. Here you go. Hmm. My, your jumping skills is a little bit rusty. You may want to go ahead and get that fixed as well. I did say that I want to fit in some exploration into a dungeon, so... So why not? We'll make it this one. This one might be rigged. No? We're fine. At least I got the lockpick back. Also, what happened to that... Those little skeleton that was sitting on top of another one? I was gonna say, it looked like another one of those, uh... Oh, yep, it has one of those interesting daggers. Must be a flare guy. Yep, bone flare. Has a flare knife. Uh, I think in my testing I tried using it, but it, it like, kind of glitched out or something. So I'd rather not. Funny, where's that other guy? Can't hear the footsteps. Also, something else saw me. No, we're in the clear again. I question the AI. Oh crap, that one was wielding a staff. Here, 
I'll stand up my own. Have at it. Yikes, it's using... shooting two of them. No wonder I had to try and sneak attack that guy. Okay, he's aggroed on me, which is good. So he can't land a hit while he's taking some three throws. Tactics. Yeah, you're good. You did a good job. Probably hit my skeleton by accident, but that's okay. It'll take a couple of more hits than that for that to happen. So yeah, it was a bone flare shaman. That's what I thought. And I think it also dropped a little bit of a staff. I think. I just can't see well. Mean and neglecting freaking torches, yo. Uh, you know what? Here. You know, at least I have a spell for that. Hey, Potion of Light. I could use that. Well, actually, no. I would rather use a spell for that, but... Hell, even for a piece of equipment. In fact, there is one piece of equipment that I can go for once we travel to that place. It's a nice piece of equipment early on that you can get. Try to get around the corner here. That's a fine iron claymore. I got room for it. Kind of want to do it around the corner just to make sure because there are some chests that are like rigged with spells that like shoot fireballs at you and whatnot. And that can instant kill you. Some even which could be like unavoidable. So it's like, you know, try to use your corners to your advantage. Okay, now we got this room. I have a feeling this might be a short area, which will probably be beneficial for me, because... Don't know how long I would like to stay in here. Also, we got ourselves a ghost. That's kind of a problem, because I don't think we got... You know, we don't have at least a silver thing. We don't have anything enchanted, and I can't use this, because they're immune to frost, so... Most I can do is this. Well, that... That is very blinding, though. Just wait for it. Wait for the flare to get back. There. Ah, grateful to have some sort of starting spells like that. Yeah, I think that's all to this place. Wait, no, hold on. What's this over here? This little nook. No, never mind. I thought that might be a little passageway. I was wrong. Just a tad bit wrong. Okay. If that looks like a setup for a trap, I don't know what would. In fact, that looks like little things for like a gas thing. Yeah, this is a small area. I think I picked the right alien ruin for this. So, uh, go me. Okay. Let's watch ourselves. This could kill us. Yikes! 
At least I got a kill scroll. Oh. Crap, I didn't mean to do that. And we're burning. Lots and lots of burning. Uh, wrong way. Because I'm burning for quite a little bit of time here. Uh, you know what? We're going to live. We'll be able to live. Also, what did I... Did... Did I walk up the stairs and I thought I saw something I could select? I think I'm going crazy. Don't mind me. Me just going crazy. This is probably just me adapting to a new world. Having to be in a big snowy city, having to be in a now in a fantasy setting. Alright, quick save. Now let's see if we can get on up to the cloud top. Alright, so I definitely need to keep track of the crash of desktops, most definitely. Okay, so now let's get right down to business. Having to get ourselves a little shock spell going. Perhaps I can do this by uh, having it like this. I think I missed. Okay, I think that hit me a little bit, but I did manage to get myself a new spell. Which is... Uh, Finger of the Mountain. 20 points of shock damage and 15 feet on target. Which does 66... You know, mana. Or magicka as it's called here. So that's like two thirds of my mana, or magicka. Ugh. I can't help it, it's interchangeable to me. Also, what happened to my thing here? I had like some sort of debuff on me. Oh shoot, when did I get a disease? Um, well, let me head back to Coral and fix that. I certainly do not think it helps that I have my DX Tories thing in the top left so that I can't see, like, what message is up there. Hopefully the disease is not too severe where it's like, well, not like permanent like as if it was like vampirism. Because you can get rid of it in early stages, but other diseases I think that can be done. Yep, all affliction seems to be done. Oh yeah, because of my custom uh, race, uh, the Sinx does have some sets of different uh, passive stuff, including resist normal weapons and paralysis. As well as it appears to be resist poison as well, which is kind of interesting. So yeah, there you go. Everything's going to be alright in the world now. Now, I see that some of these things here, uh, hmm. Let's see, where do, I don't know what level we started off with, like, Blade here. Was it, like, 35 or something? I don't know. We do have a lot of progression to go here, and I don't think Restoration hit a level up yet, either. So, I'm gonna have to do, like, a fair bit of training off-screen here, and I'm gonna have to train one of my minor skills up, definitely, to a nice, adequate level. Not necessarily 25, but... Something that's going to aid me in the next segment of videos. And the one I'm going to have to work on is probably Sneak, most definitely. Uh, perhaps even m some of my acrobatics. Uh, I can't really do some of the spells stuff yet because I want to get, like, custom spells that's going to aid me in the training stuff when I do off-camera. But that's it for the uh, initial part set of videos for some modded Oblivion. Hope you guys are going to get a nice little kick out of this. Also, a little bit of a hint to what's to come. Yeah, that's from one of the DLCs. 
It'll be nice to see you to revisit that sometime soon, because it's been a long time since I messed with that one. So yeah, hope you guys will enjoy here with my Kawasami's journey through Oblivion. <laughs> hope you guys have fun. I'll see you guys next time.